you enjoyed the new intro, um, or I'm gonna try and do a new intro. Uh, if if it's different, you'll know it. If not, well, I guess it didn't work. Oh, but anyways, out in the rogator today, uh, doing a little bit of pre-harvest. Uh, these are our first acres for the year. As you can see, the wheat's starting to turn. Um, it's a uh, it's a beautiful sight. Um, it's that time of year. Um, there really hasn't been anything combined around here yet, but there's quite a few acres that are getting close. Um, so we're just uh, killing some of the wheat off um, so some guys can get a start. But anyways, um, I gotta turn here, so hold on and right along. button. The room is back on. Get it lined up. Spraying. Cruise control. It's cruise control set to 21 and a half miles an hour. And uh, we got, uh, I'm actually just uh, west of our farm a little ways, about uh, three miles. Um, we got a, another half inch of rain here Saturday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, excuse me, um, Monday morning or something like that. Anyways, uh, I actually I really don't remember. I think it's Monday morning, <laughs> early in the morning, um, yesterday morning. But anyways, what I have been rain here, so we're really, as you can see in the mirror, kicking up no dust, so we don't have to worry about wheel tracks because we're spraying glyphosate, and as most farmers know. The dust will tie up the glyphosate and end up with wheel tracks. But since we got some rain and we're running a crop, uh, you don't really have to worry about dust too bad. So you can really boogie along. Uh, as you can see up there, I'm holding my rate well. Um, and since this is just glyphosate to burn the wheat off um, and nothing else, there's a few weeds and stuff out here, but um, Roundup actually works really well at lower gallon. Um, work. Um, I have some other stuff to do here later where I got to bump her up a little bit. You don't get quite as many acres out of a load, but that's all right. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to do a little ride along here. Now we're burning down some wheat. Um, this farmer I'm spraying for right now, it's three fields, it's about 310 acres across the three fields. The bigger field I already did is, uh, or was 142 acres. This one's about 90, the next one is like 80 something. And then uh, I gotta drive clear across the county, go and do some more. Uh, and that should run me up right against the end of the day. So I got to uh, go and sit in on a crop tour this afternoon. Our co op sponsors uh, refreshments and stuff for the crop tour. So I got uh, delegated, volunteered, whatever you want to call it, to deliver the refreshments to the crops to this afternoon. This evening on my way home, since the place that it's being held at this year is right on my way home. So, anyways, um, I said just doing a little ride along today. Um, the road gator's been working really well. Um, actually, we just had Butler out this morning. We had a seal. Um, on the uh, on the cylinder that raises and lowers the carriage, um, there's a differential block on there on the side of it, and uh, where that goes into the cylinder, the seal was bad. It was blowing by and it was settling really fast on me. If I didn't set the transport lock, the, the booms would be sitting on the fenders um, within a day. So they came up and fixed that this morning. Um, otherwise. It's a ripping machine. The thing gets after it, gets it done. Um, I can spray faster than the auto steer will allow. Um, it, it'll kick out if I go too fast. Um, and, and this kind of work, these farmers are good farmers. They, they smooth, square fields. You can really boogie, especially when you're not kicking up dust. 
Uh, you don't have to worry about that. So, so anyways, we keep her right around that 21 and a half, 22 and a half, something like that when they're going and the conditions are right. Um, a lot of farmers don't like you to see it going that fast, I guess, but as long as you're not kicking up dust and you, know, you don't have to worry about wheel tracks and you're done, it's not such a big deal. But anyways, um, hope you all like this video. Um, I know the last video I just got done doing here not too long ago, a week ago or so. So we're going to have some more updates and we will. Um, be patient, please. Uh, we've been busy getting some stuff taken care of. Uh, wife's getting ready to go back to work. She's a teacher. So she's getting ready to go back for the year. Um, getting our oldest son ready for preschool and stuff like that. So And working around the yard, doing some projects yet. Um, I'm getting ready to work on building some uh, some more corralling. So uh, I've grown, I cut down the old windbreak fence and stuff already. Um, so got that kind of cleaned up. We're gonna pour some concrete for a new drinker pad back where the cows were at all winter because they had that pretty much wallowed out from the mud and stuff. So gotta redo that. We've got some projects coming up. So, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy uh, and be on the lookout for another video coming real soon. Within the next day or two, I keep telling my wife that we need to get it done tonight, tonight, tonight. Well, it's usually tomorrow that never comes, but it seems like in our case it's tonight that never comes. <laughs> but, anyways, we're going to get her done here real soon and get it up so everybody can see. And I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I'm almost at 200 subscribers. I appreciate it very much. Um, really enjoying YouTube. It's been a crazy hectic summer. I feel kind of bad. I haven't been able to keep up with uh, videos from guys that I normally like to keep up with. I've been been trying and been able to watch a few here now lately since we're slowing down a bit. Um, got a little bit of free time. I actually got some time on the weekends to do stuff so uh, it's kind of nice but anyways um, let me show a real quick video I just got done with this field so I'm going to auto fold her in has a like a roll sensor on it so once in a while you have to manually fold in the tips of the outer half because it doesn't want to do it on its own just like that unrecognized position so these are your manual boom valves here just hold those and and they come simple as that it's kind of a pain in the butt it's really not too hard to just fold them in manually so Anyways, again, everybody, uh, I really thank you um, for watching, uh, commenting, subscribing. Um, it really means a lot to me and to us, and we really appreciate it. Um, so please uh, stay tuned for more. Catch y'all later. Thank you.